Loops are often used to calculate the total of a number of values. So with every iteration, you add the next value to a total. So this is also useful when you want to calculate the average of, for example, the marks of a class. So in the example that we're going to do now, we're going to just do, take the program that we previously had, where we listed the numbers 1 to 10 in a list box. Uh, we're going to change that so that instead of just writing down those numbers, we're going to calculate the sum of all those numbers and then display the total. So currently the program um, has a counter variable. It has a while loop that tests whether the counter is less than or equal to 10 and it adds the counter to the list box. So we want to change this so that in the end we have a message box that shows the total of all the numbers between 1 and 10. So that means we have to add the counter to some total accumulating variable um, with each iteration. And that means we have to initialize that variable. So I'm going to declare a variable and I am going to initialize it to 0. What I did is I declared the variable and initialized it in the declaration. So you can do this as well. So previously here yeah, we declared the counter and then in a separate statement initialized the counter. I'm just illustrating here how you can do this in one statement. So you could have done the same with the counter variable. Okay, so now we have a variable sum that we are going to use to calculate the total. So what we need to do is to change instead of adding that value to the list box, we want to add its value to the sum. So we're going to say sum plus equal counter. Okay, remember, um, sum plus equal counter is the same as saying sum equals sum plus counter. So that does the same. The last thing we need to add is a message box that displays the total, say the sum is and then plus sum. There's an implicit um, conversion to a string here because it doesn't complain if we just put sum there. So the one thing we need to change, we're now not using that list box anymore. So I'm going to go to the form and I'm just going to delete the list box. Okay, and this is our whole form now. So all we want to do is we want to click on the button and it must display the sum. So we should actually also change the text here. So we say display the sum of 1 to 10. If we now run the program and we click on the button, it tells us the sum of all the values from 1 to 10 is 55. So I just want to recap. If we go back to the code, if you want to um, use a while loop to accumulate a total, there are few things that you must always do. So the first thing, you need a variable in which to accumulate the total. So you have to declare a variable. Um, and it's very important that you initialize that variable. And usually it will be initialized to zero if, it, if you want to um, start calculating the sum of a list of values. But it, there might be cases where you start with a different value. But usually it's zero. Um, the reason why you have to uh, assign a value to it before you go into the loop is you are actually assuming that sum already has a value the first time you go in. So if you don't do that initialization, you're going to have a problem here because you can't have um, sum that is uninitialized on the right hand side of an, of an assignment statement. Okay, so then obviously, so you have the initialization, the declaration and initialization of the 
accumulation variable and then inside the loop you add a value to that variable. 